Nature buffs and fans of literal arts may be in for a treat when they take their next walk in the park. What you're seeing are artworks resembling visual poetry. 14 such works are now up in eight parks across the island, along a 36-kilometer trail from Pungal all the way to Jurong. They convey messages of hope and resilience. They are penned by homegrown artists, uh, selected through an open call by the Public Art Trust. And for more, we're joined by Tay Tong, director at the National Arts Council, and artist Namiko Chan Takahashi, co-founder of La Nia Kaya a Culture Collective. Thank you both for joining us this evening. Uh, Tay, I'll come to you first. Uh, Tay Tong, how did this project uh, come about, and sure. why text-based art? Right. Um, well, first of all, thank you for having Namiko and myself in the program. Um, and we written. The world ahead of us is actually a multi-sensory public art project. Um, and it was first conceived during the uh, circuit breaker um, where you know, all our art spaces went down. So this particular project is actually a very spirited response uh, by Singapore artists uh, to concerns and experiences uh, that they faced during COVID-19. Um, and rewritten um, features text-based work. So during the circuit breaker, we realized that there was a lot of reflection and contemplation that was going on amongst the arts community on what it means to be living through a pandemic. So the National Arts Council, through the Public Art Trust, um, thought, why not provide a platform for our artists with different practices to express their thoughts and share their contemplation? So what we did was we did an open call and out of the open call came for 14 uh, public artworks, um, which you will now see experience over eight parts. And that's how um, rewritten uh, came about. And in terms of why text, uh, we believe that text-based art offers audiences uh, an outlet to kind of slow down, to uh, reevaluate. Um, our priorities to take stock um, and they also imagine a future uh, moving forward. And we hope that through a poem, a haiku, or words that are manifested into installations can provide some sort of inspiration uh, on moving forward purposefully into, you know, at that moment, a very kind of uh, unknown future. Um, and we believe that the arts provide very essential relief and have a role to play um, in our overall emotional and mental well-being. Yeah, so that was why uh, text space works. Now, Miko, your artwork is called Still Travelling. Could you tell us the inspiration behind it? Well, when the circuit breaker happened, I painted a bird a day, and I'm a painter, so I uh, wanted to mark the time. I painted one bird a day and posted it on Instagram, and uh, very soon people were communicating with me saying, please paint my favorite bird, and these were people from all over the world. So I started to learn a lot about birds, from the Virginian cardinal to uh, the New Zealand tui, uh, wherever my friends were from, or perfect strangers even. And uh, I, I started learning um, about migrating birds. Um, the other half of Lania Kea Culture Collective, Aaron Lee, he um, has a poem, he had already written a poem um, about home, about longing, about where we come from. And it was just a natural um, continuation of that exploration of migration, of longing, and of course right now we're waiting for our next travel bubble uh, to uh, fly, so literally waiting for flight, like the two birds that uh, you can see across the water at Pongo uh, Waterway. Yeah, Namiko, we understand as well it's the first time you've created such a large experiential piece. And what have you actually learned uh, from doing this? Oh, so I've had uh, front row seats uh, watching the power of public art. And uh, it, it's a whole different scale. I'm used to painting on canvas and on paper. 
and alone in my studio. So um, being out there in the park and watching people engage with the artwork, um, I can see people slowing down as they enter the bridge and they're looking up and they're craning their necks and they're trying to read the poem and sometimes they even notice the poem when they're on the other side. So the poem is upside down and they go all the way back to the front of the uh, the other side of the bridge, and then they they walk again so that they can read the poem. I um, I, I just love watching everyone just take a pause, take a um, a little slow down to read, and and then they they discover the birds as well, and then they mm-hmm. start having conversations. So um, it's been amazing. That's great advice to take a pause when we're out on our walks, and we'll be looking forward to spotting some of that artwork. Taitong, and also Namiko. Thank you very much for joining us this evening. Tae Tong, Director at the National Arts Council and artist Namiko Chan Takahashi from co-founder of Lanai Kaya.